Have you ever been in a group where you thought that the effort of a fellow team member was much less than your effort and that you, as a consequence, also decreased your personal effort because you had the feeling that you did not want to contribute more than the rest of the group? Then you experience a psychological effect called social loafing. So, what does social loafing actually mean? Social loafing is a tendency for individuals to expend less effort when working in a group than when they will work individually. Let's start with an example based on early research conducted by Maximilian Ringelmann more than a century ago. Professor Ringelmann asked male volunteers to pull on the rope as hard as they could while he measured the group's total effort. He conducted this experiment with groups of varying sizes and what he noticed was that as the group increased in size, the group performance was lower than would be expected from the simple addition of individual performances. He called this phenomenon the Ringelmann effect and Subsequent research confirms the existence of this effect, which was later replaced by the term social loafing. We probably all have observed this when working in a group. This is also regularly observed at the workplace. Some people are working with great effort, while others are lounging about. Furthermore, in online communities, a high percentage, sometimes even up to 90% of the members, exhibit social loafing behavior and follow the online discussion but rarely contribute knowledge themselves or add posts. These people are the so-called lurkers on social platforms. The bigger the group, the more likely people do not feel personally responsible for the success or failure of the team, and the bigger the chance the effort will decrease and people lose their motivation.